Hi, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer, and we are continuing our thyroid series titled The Most Commonly Asked Questions About Hypothyroidism. Today's question is uh, from Katia, uh, is from a, a woman named Katia from Germany. And her question is, can I get off taking thyroid medications if I address the underlying cause? And the short answer to this is yes, you can, but sometimes. And here's what I mean by that, okay? This is a really, a really good question. I love this question because many people are increasingly becoming aware and, and hearing about some of the long-term side effects of thyroid medication. And this is quite understandable that you don't want to have to rely on something unnatural, okay? So some people can completely come off their thyroid medication when they address the root cause. Others might be able to decrease the amount that they need, and others, as in the case of long-standing, poorly managed Hashimoto's disease, or even those people who've had a thyroidectomy, meaning that the thyroid's been removed, these people, in many cases, need to take thyroid medication forever, uh, to some, or at least to some extent. Now, the important thing to remember here is, is that the longer you go without addressing the root cause, the more damage that is inflicted on the thyroid gland and the worse you're going to feel in the years to come. So one of the biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to having Hashimoto's is there's, there's this uh, tendency to have like a pendulum swing. You know, the immune system flares up, you have all these symptoms of hyperthyroidism, the immune system calms down a little bit, the symptoms go away, you feel fine, then all of a sudden the symptoms flare back up again, okay? It's so very important that you, if, you, if this is happening to you, you recognize this as this is, an, this is one of the red flags of an underlying autoimmune issue, okay? So if this is happening to you, you really need to work with someone who really understands this, this kind of pendulum swing and does everything he or she can to, to kind of bring that to a, to a standstill. Now, here's the thing. Our bodies need thyroid hormone. So if we need to take them, it's important that we still address many of these other areas, but it's also important that we take the right kind of thyroid hormone. Now, I've done a video uh, dedicated to this very question titled, if I have to take thyroid medication, which one should I take? So I encourage you to watch that video if you or someone you know is taking thyroid hormone because it's going to educate you a little bit more. So when it comes to thyroid problems, and especially Hashimoto's disease, number one, the number one goal is to address the root cause. So in other words, look at the big picture. What, what are some of these contributing factors? Because this is so much bigger than just trying to figure out, do I need Synthroid? Or do I need levothyroxine? Do I need armor? Do I need cytomel? Okay, much, much bigger than that. And you'll see a lot of people on the internet talk only about T3. Everything you need, it's T3, it's T3, it's T3. Synthroid is bad and T3 is good. And there's a lot more to this picture than simply saying I need nature throid or I need armor. Okay, much, much bigger than that. So number one goal, address the root cause. Number two, um, if possible, avoid medication when you can. And goal number three, uh, use the least amount of medication when possible to achieve the therapeutic benefit, okay? So I hope you enjoyed today's quick video. Stay with us. we got a lot of great information coming your way, a lot of good questions being uh, emailed to us. So we hope that you stay with us. Take care.